Okay, today we're going to learn about multiplying radical polynomial expressions. Let's start with multiplying the cubic root of 2 times the cubic root of 32. So we multiply, we keep our indices the same, cubic, the cubic root of 64. And you should know that the cubic root of 64 is 4, because 4 times 4 times 4 is 64. So here's a second example. We're going to multiply the terms outside the radicals, 2 times 4x, which is going to give us 8x. And then we multiply the terms inside the radical. 3 times 27 is 81, and x times x is x squared. Next, we simplify the term under the radical, giving us 8x, and then the square root of 81, you should know, is 9, and the square root of x squared is simply x. Multiplying these two terms together, we get 72x squared. Now let's look at the distributive property using, binom uh, using multiplication of radicals. We're going to first take the 7x, 7 square roots of x, and we're going to multiply it times 2 square roots of xy, giving us 14 square roots of x squared y. Then we're going to go to the next term and distribute 7 square roots of x to the square root of y which gives us 7 square roots of xy. Simplifying any term under the radical, in the first term we're going to get 14, but we're going to get rid of the square root of x squared because we know that is x, so we're going to get 14x square roots of y plus 7 square roots of xy because we cannot simplify any term on that term under the radical. One thing we need to do is we need to take the absolute value of x. That is because when we take x squared out, our x value could be positive or negative. Square root of x squared gives us a positive and a negative value. So therefore, in order to indicate that it, the value could be negative, x itself could be negative, we use the absolute value symbol. Now we're going to multiply two binomials, which contain radicals. We do it in the same manner we did with regular uh, binomial multiplication. We're going to take the first term and multiply it times the first term. 2 times 3 is going to give us 6. And then we're going to have the square root of b squared. Then we're going to multiply the two square roots of b times negative 2, giving us negative 4, and then square root of b. Then we go to our second term in our first binomial, 5. And we're going to say 5 times 3 square roots of b is 15 square roots of b. And then 5 times negative 2 gives us negative 10. We can simplify the first term because we know the square root of b squared is b. And we have to put the absolute value symbol around the b because the b value could be a positive b or a negative b. And then we combine our like terms, giving us plus 11 square roots of b and minus 10, giving us our final solution. Well, that's about all we will be learning in multiplying radicals. If you have any questions, please bring them to class tomorrow. See you then.